psychologist in the hospital. <coughs> so I'm just going to talk to you about the cleaning and maintaining of the, the airway, difficult airway parts and the um, ultrasound. So actually, I don't know if you want to have a look. A lot of the time, these things aren't cleaned properly and um, it's not properly maintained. Um, this monitor do have battery backup, and so, so whenever you store it, please just make sure you plug it in. But you don't always need to plug it in at the bedside while you use it. There is enough battery life on it. And it just, just nice and neat. So this is like a own should work. Um, there is enough battery on it. So I know sometimes the cables are quite short and so on. So if you just plug it in and maintain it, it will actually have enough battery. Okay, so I know this one is supposed to have two other blades. I'm not sure whether or I can actually show you what this blade is, and maybe if you want to go around and have a look, if you would put this thing in your mouth. Um, I it's around, take it around, and you can see. You can see that. If you look at that at the bottom. Would you put that in your mouth? Let's say your previous patient that you intubated was in the or something. Um, see if you would put that in your in your mouth. Okay, you will probably see where, as it goes around, there's gunk on there, sometimes there's blood on there. Um, it's because it's not properly washed. It is, however, your responsibility. If you use these blades, it is your responsibility to clean it. And just leave this around for afterwards. Is it got cement? Yes, it's full. So, um, it is your responsibility to clean it after you've used it and not just put it there and think the nursing staff is going to clean it. They do not know how to do it, they will not clean it. They might just wipe, wipe it off with water and so, and it's probably going to look like that. So, there is a cleaning protocol of how to clean this. As soon as you've finished using it, as soon as possible, wash it up, wash it down with a little soapy water and then go put it into the end design. In all of the ICUs, there's areas where we have in little buckets of Enzyme and Cydex. Um, so then you basically just, after wiping off, so it's very important to wash it off, because if it's not washed off, you're not going to get the sticky stuff off. Enzyme is just lying around it, so you're just going to put it all around it. So you need to wash it with a sponge, or a, I usually use the little sponges for hand scrub or something from the theatre, but if you don't have that, some a paper towel with soap on it will also work. Put it in the design, 10 minutes, take it out, rinse it, have a look at the blade, see if it's clean enough, put it into the side X for 15 minutes. Thank you. 15 minutes in, in side X, take it out, rinse it, and put it back on the cord. These blades are the new blades. You'll see they've got the round bit with the little um, two things on the side that slides in there. This whole blade can be submerged. So it's not necessary to have some part of it sticking out or so. The whole thing can be submerged. Once you take it out, don't put it like this. Oops, don't do that. <laughs> don't put it like this because the water, the water stays into the, um, into the connection where the pins is. Put it into these little holders like that, so the water can run out and it can dry and it's ready for use again. Okay, there's also these, um, I see this one has been bent, um, the CMAC guide, it's specifically for the D-blade, so it's supposed to be for the curvature of the D-blade. I see somebody used it as an introducer, so it's supposed to be making this easier, so we'll have to replace this. This is reusable. This goes in there. Okay. Any questions? So maybe the the um the guide wire. Guide wire. Do you put that in the end design as well? Yes. So so just to recap, so it's end design for three minutes? Five no, minutes. So sorry, soap the water first, wash it first. End design for five minutes. Five minutes. Check it, make sure there's no gunk on it. Yes. There's gunk back in the end design. Wash it off. Or wash it off. Yeah. 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 And then, and then if it, you have to get it clean, then into the side deck. Side deck. 15, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes, rinse it off. It's important to rinse it off. Side deck is, um, it can burn the patient. It's we, not rinse I'm going to write it down. I think people should make I've actually got the theatre protocol. <laughs> In theatre, we only leave it in 
five minutes for um, InDesign. Maybe take a screenshot of this as well, or um, and then to this yeah. one group. So, where can we find the InDesign and InDesign? Is Little Holders by the Black Gas Analyzer in C37 by the Black Gas Analyzer in the Schluss room by the crowd. So then how, do you, how exactly do we clean this with soapy water? Do we like wheel it over to the to the sink and do it? Or like do we need to go dig up a, like a kidney dish somewhere? No, what I like usually what? do is just take some gauze or something like that that's soft. I don't like the paper towels because the paper towels are quite hard. Yeah, okay. yeah. So take a bit of gauze, um, just, just like one, one little thing of left of soap on there okay. um, with some water. Just wipe it down nicely, and then you can just. And I usually just it's it's enough for both of them. You just wipe it down and uh, your cable as well. Just remember always to hang your probes. Never to leave your probes like this. When they get filled, this knocks there. It's damaging to the crystal inside. Once that is damaged, broken, and so you basically have to replace it. Can't be fixed. So yeah, that's basically for that. Clean water and then just your yeah, often so people do just with clean water and just leave it to dry. Unit one. Questions? <laughs> um, going back to the first um, clinic of the yeah, the first um, the treatment, yes. Yeah. Can we perhaps like you know more than two of us use the same basin with endosine inside us to clean it in? And then for how long can you keep that for a day? In case the first one, I keep it first. No, you don't, you don't have that. to mix it. You can keep in design for a day. For a day. Okay. For a day. So we can only use side the eggs, side eggs you can keep for 21 days. And okay. Yeah. Unless it's soiled or something in there, it shouldn't be. 
because you usually clean your things before you put it in there. So um, Sidex can you can leave Sidex you can leave for 21 days and you can put other things in there as long as it's clean and you don't see visible things in the in the Sidex. Thank you guys, thanks for coming.